Genesis chapter 7. Mwanzo mlango wa saba. Genesis chapter 7. Mwanzo mlango wa saba. Starting from verse 1. Kuanzia kwa mstari wake wa kwanza. We'll read the whole chapter plus uh, chapter 8 verse 1 as well. Tutasoma ki, uh, kitabu kizima na hata mlango wa nane pia mstari wa kwanza. We have a lot to read so I will read only in English. Na mambo mengi ya kusoma kwa hivyo tutasoma kwa lugha kimombo. So if you have a Kiswahili Bible, then I hope you can read along. I read from the book of Genesis, chapter, chapter 7, verse 1. Then the Lord said to Noah, Come into the ark, you and all your household, because I have sinned and that you are righteous before me in this generation. You shall take with you seven each of every clean animal, a male and his female, and two each of animals that are unclean, and make his female also seven each of birds of the air, male and female, to keep the species alive on the face of all the earth. And for after and seven more days I will cause it to rain on the earth on forty days and forty nights. And I will destroy from the face of the earth all living things and that I have made. And Noah did according to all that the Lord commanded him. Noah was 600 years old when the flood waters were on the earth. So Noah with his sons, his wife, and his sons' wives went into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Of clean animals, of animals and that are unclean, of birds, and of everything that creeps on the earth. Two by two, and they went into the ark uh, to Noah, male and a female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days, and that and the waters of the flood uh, were on the earth. In the six hundred year of Noah's life, uh, in the second month, the seventeenth day of the month, uh, on that day, all the fountains of the great deep uh, were broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was on the earth forty days and forty nights. On the very same day, Noah and Noah's son, Shem, Ham, and Zapheth, and Noah's wife, and the three wives of his sons with them entered the ark. And they and every beast after its kind, all cattle after their kind, every creeping thing and that creeps on the earth after its kind, and every bird after its kind, every bird of every sort, and they went into the ark to Noah, two by two of all flesh, in which is the breath of life. So those that entered, the male and female of all flesh, went in as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. Now the flood was on the earth forty days, and the waters increased and lifted up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. And the waters prevailed and greatly increased on the earth. And the ark moved about on the surface of the waters. And the waters prevailed exceedingly on the earth. And all the high hills under the whole uh, heaven uh, were covered. And the waters prevailed 15 cubits uh, upward. And the mountains were covered. And all flesh and died and that moved on the earth. And birds and cattle and beasts and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, and every man, all in whose nostrils was and the breath of life, and breath of spirit of life, all and that was on the dry land died. And so he destroyed all living things which were on the face of the ground, both men and cattle, and creeping thing and a bird of the air. And they were destroyed from the earth. Uh, only Noah and those who were with him in the ark remained alive. And the waters prevailed on the earth uh, 150 days. And then God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the animals. And they were with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth and the water subsided. We're up to chapter 8. Verse 1. Everyone, is there anyone whom you are thinking in your hearts 
I want to change. Na je kuna mtu hata mmoja kati yetu mnaofikia ndani ya mioyo yenu mnataka kubadilika. I want to receive change. Nataka nipokee mabadiliko. I wish I can change. Natumai ningepokea mabadiliko. I don't want to live like this. Nataka niishi maisha kama haya. I hope I can receive change of my life. Natumai niweze kupata mabadiliko katika maisha yangu. Is there anyone who thought about it like that and uh, who is thinking like that? Je, kuna mtu aliyefikiria hivyo ama anafikiria hivyo? I want to receive change. Nataka nipokee mabadiliko. I want to change. Nataka nibadilike. Emmanuel, you, you don't want to change. Emmanuel, wewe unataka kubadilika? I'm perfect. Ni mimi ni mkamilifu. I look handsome. Naonekana mtana shati. I'm spiritual. Na mtu wa kiroho. I'm good. Mimi niko uh, vizuri. Brother Emmanuel, ndugu Emmanuel, you never of thought of wanting to change hujawahi fikiria kuhusu kubadilika no means i thought about it or i never thought about it la inamaanisha kwa nimefikiria kulihusu au sijafikiria kulihusu ha you don't want to change hutaki kubadilika i want to change nataka nibadilike You want to change? Nataka kubadilike. How come you didn't raise your hand? Na mbona huku inua mkono? Everyone did you all thought about it before? Je, mmefikiria hivyo hapo mwanzo? I wish I can change. Natumai nibadilike. Some people, watu wengine, they want to change from what to what. Wanataka wabadilike kutoka kwa nini hadi kwa nini? I am doing drugs. Na na natumia madawa. I think you should change too. <laughs> I want to quit drugs. Nataka niwachane na madawa. I don't want to do drugs anymore. Ah, sitaki nifanye madawa tena. But I I find myself you know continuously doing drugs. Na kina jikuta huku nikitumia madawa ya kulevia. You know I am lazy. Ah, mimi ni mtu ambaye sijamakinika. I don't want to I want to change. Nataka niweze kubadilika. I want to be more diligent and active. Nataka niwe mtu mwadilifu, mtu ambaye anafanya kazi kwa bidii. But you know I am too lazy. Lakini mimi sijamakinika hata kidogo. Nataka nibadilike. I want to serve the gospel. Nataka nitumikie injili. But I find myself living for my own fleshly desire. Lakini najikuta nikiishia tamaa zangu za kimwili. I want to change. Nataka nibadilike. But I don't know how to change myself. Lakini sijui namna ya kujibadilisha mwenyewe. Everyone have you ever thought about it like that? Je, mmefikiria kuhusu ile jambo hivyo? I also want to live for the gospel. Pia nataka niweze kuishia injili. I want to change. Nataka nibadilike. But I find myself loving the flesh more. Lakini najikuta nikipenda mwili zaidi. Everyone I don't know. Ah, sijui lakini. Maybe except for Emmanuel and a couple of people. Pengine ukimwacha Emmanuel Kando na watu wengine kadhaa. Everybody we all want to change. Kila mmoja wetu nataka tubadilike. From something to something. Kutoka katika hali fulani hadi nyingine. But do you find yourself changing? Lakini lakini je mnajipata mkibadilika? Raise your hand. Inua mkono mchungaji. You know, I really wanted to change. Ni nataka kwa hakika nibadilike. But truly I found myself changing. Lakini najikuta nikibadilika. Is there anyone who wants to testify about how you changed? Je, kuna mtu ambaye anataka kushuhudia namna alivyobadilika? I think brother Kuto changed a lot. Na fikiria kwa ndugu Kuto amebadilika zaidi. I don't know whether that change is by the word or by the wedding. Ah, sijui kama mabadiliko hayo ni kupitia kwa neno ama ni kwa harusi. I don't know which one was so powerful, but sijui ni neno gani liliokuwa na nguvu zaidi lakini Ever since he got married, lakini tangu aweze kupata kuingia katika ndoa, I think he almost 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 now he's there. Now he quit smoking. Ni karibu kuwa amewachana kuweza kuvuta and he also became very neat. Na pia amekuwa mtu msafi. Always in nice jeans and nice clean shirts. Kila wakati ana jeans ya kupendeza na shati ya kupendeza. And so as soon as I returned from Korea yesterday, I met the brother Kuto. Na punde tu nilipotoka katika nchi ya Korea siku ya jana nikakutana na ndugu Kuto. Is he here? Je, yuko hapa? Oh, you see he's sitting in the service. Ameka katika ibada. Where's your wife? Na mke wako yuko wapi? You should sit together. Amna style muwe pamoja. Yes. <laughs> so we see brother Kuto changing. Ah, tunamuona ndugu Kuto akibadilika. Where's brother Johan? Na ndugu Johan. Johan. Where where's Johan? Johan, where are you? 
Johan? Is Johan there? Je, ndugu Johan yuko hapo? Where is Johan? Yuko wapi? Yes, he didn't come to service. Yes, I hope he will also change. Na tumai pia ataweza kubadilika. Everyone, Kila moja wenu. we all want to change, right? Kubadilika, I also wanted to change myself. Mwenyewe. But this time, Lakini wakati huu, I went to Korea, and uh, we were taught on this mindset training. Kuhusu hili somo kuhusu you know, we were taught Tulifunzwa. on how we can receive change. Everett, in order for you to have the change, Everett, if you understand the world of the heart, how this world functions and works, then it's very easy. But the reason why we are trying to change ourselves. Everyone, have you tried to change yourself? Brother James, did you try to change yourself before? Did it work? No. Everyone, we try to change ourselves. Everyone, the reason why we are trying to change ourselves is because we don't know how to change ourselves. Everyone, if you know how to change yourself, then you don't try to change yourself. Because although you try to change yourself, that is not how the change comes. In order for you to have the change of your life, even if you understand how our world, uh, world of the heart functions, then it's very easy. But if you don't know how the world of our heart functions, then it's very difficult. We try hard to change ourselves because we don't know how the world of our heart function. But if you understand, bringing the change in our life is easy. Everyone, where does the change of our life begin? Everyone, the change of our life begin from this certain point. From the point of discovery. Discovery. Everyone, please repeat after me. Discovery. 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 Yes, the change happens from discovery. Then what do you have to discover? Everyone, our life changes from the discovery of myself. Discovery of my image. Everyone, once you discover your true image and my image, then the change happens about in my heart, in my life automatically. Everyone, in America, uh, we have a lot of our churches. And also recently, in the month of October and December, we had a Christmas cantata. And so many people are receiving the change. Actually, the country of America had all started by the Puritans. Yes, so they were very religious people. Yes, but they received the persecution. So they left their country of British. And now they settled their life in the new land called the, uh, the, the United States. Everyone, when you look at the history of America, the history of America is only about over a slightly over a 200 years. What is the history of Kenya? You need to change. Yes. <laughs> 
Everyone, the history of South Korea Na historia, uh, Korea Kusini is about 5,000 years. Ni kama miaka elftano. For the last 5,000 years of the history of South Korea, La, we were very poor. Lakini katika historia hiyo ya miaka elftano, incha Korea ilikuwa imeshudia umaskini. For the last 5,000 years, Kwa miaka elftano, we were never rich. Hatukuwa na utajiri. We were always poor. Tulikuwa tu umaskini wa kila wakati. We were always starving. But when you look at America, America has only the history of a slightly over 200 years. But then America now is like number one powerful country in the whole world. Because the Puritans, when they went to America, you know, they really wanted to serve God. They were persecuted. And that's why they left. Uh, they left uh, the British, and they went to uh, the UK, uh, the US, so that they can serve God. They were building the house. And then some uh, people came to him. Hey, excuse me, my brother. Right now, it is not a time for us to build our house. We need to build the church. The Puritans, they were wild animals. Yes, they were also Indians. They don't call themselves in there, you know, Indians. They call themselves Native Americans. Yes, there were those kind of attacks and threats. But then, <coughs> but then, but they did not the first to build their house. The first thing that they built was the church. After they finished building the church in the center of their village, now they tried to build their house. And, but then people came to him again. Hey, excuse me, sir. Before we even build our house, we built the church. And next, we should build the, the school. Uh, so the next thing that they have built was the school. Na hivu, kitu fata, wali jenga, and mashule. after building the school, na bada mashule, they built their own houses. Waka jenga nyumba zao. Everyone, the country called America started based on Christianity belief. Na, while they were serving God, kwa mungu, while they were sending out missionaries to spread the gospel, kwa wa injili, everyone, kila moja wenu. now God began to give, give them the great of blessings upon them. Mungu akaanza kuwapa baraka zilizokuu katika maisha yao. And in the history of just the 200 years. Na katika historia ya miaka 200 America became number one country in the whole world. America ikafanyika nchi namba 1 ulimwenguni kote. You talk about economy they're number 1. Ukiongea kuhusu uchumi wao namba 1. You talk about the military power they're number 1. Ukiongea katika uwezo wa kijeshi wao namba 1. So God has to bless them. Kwa hivyo Mungu amewabariki. However through these blessings. Hata hivyo kupitia kwa baraka hizo. Now their hearts also became reluctant. Mioyo yao ikaanza kutulia. And now na sasa now many people they left the Bible, left the church, and left God. Now begin to follow the way of corruption. Actually, now you go to America. You can easily find the drugs over there. In our church, there is a brother named Julio. Actually, brother Julio. Yes, she, uh, you know. He is the immigrant from one of the country in South America. When he was little, he came with his family. And then, you know, he really loved enjoying and staying in America. The roads are developed. The school education system is developed. He was so happy staying in America. And but then now the father had to go to work. And also the mother had to go to work. And so he was left home all alone. And as we 
was going to school, he began to learn drugs from his friends. Since high school, he started doing drugs. And then he was addicted to drugs. He started doing drugs. And though he wanted to change, now he couldn't find himself how he can change himself. He wanted to change himself, but he couldn't find how he can change himself. As time passed by, he even dropped out from the college. He couldn't study anymore because of drugs. He couldn't focus because of drugs. He had to skip many days from you know, church, uh, from going to school because of drugs. Yes, inside of his heart, he did not want to continue doing the drugs. He wanted to live that straightforward life. He wanted to live a clean life. You know, he wanted to you know, live a, just a normal life like other you know, students going to college, studying, and getting a job. Though he wanted to change, he cannot find himself changing. Later on, he was addicted to drugs. And then he did not even have a proper place for him to stay. And so even one day, he was doing the drugs. And then he was caught by police. In America, if you are caught doing drugs, then you are put in the prison. But it's not like just the prison prison. There is also a rehabilitation center inside. So one day he was doing drugs and he got caught and he went to rehabilitate. Center. One or two years later, he got discharged. And so he decided himself. While I was in the prison, I didn't get caught. I didn't do drugs. And now, if I get discharged, then now I am I'm able to live a new life. So he expected him himself of living a new life. But one month passed by. Two months passed by. He found himself doing the drugs again and and again. Later he got caught again. He was arrested and then he was put in the prison again. And so in the prison for about a year or two while he was in the prison in the rehabilitation center he didn't do the drugs again. So in his heart at uh, this time if I get discharged then I will not do the drugs again so he didn't find himself doing the drugs he was so happy yes, finally now I quit again I will do the drugs ever again so he got discharged but he found himself doing the drugs again he didn't know how to change himself. He wanted to receive change. Yes, for him it may be a drug. But to somebody, he's doing smoking. To somebody, it may be drinking alcohol. To somebody, it may be stealing. You don't want to steal, but it becomes like a habit. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Those people who are nodding, I think. You know, in, in, 
let me not say it anymore. But you know what I mean, right? Yes. You don't want to steal. But you find yourself stealing again. After you steal it, you said, I want to quit. I don't want to live this life anymore. I don't want to steal anymore. But later on, you find yourself stealing again. To some people, they have a lustful heart. No, I don't want to have a lustful heart anymore. You know, I have a beautiful wife. But why is my heart becoming so lustful? Like the woman who had infirmity for 38 years, right? She did not want to commit adultery. She wanted to change. But she found herself committing adultery again. Whichever kind of a bad habit it is, we all want to receive change. Do you want to change? Do you also want to receive change? Yes. Do you want to change? Yes. Do you see yourself changing? Yes. Yes. How, what to what? How to what? How to what? Sing from Laikipia. I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, Hata Ivo. Sister, do you want to change? Dado ntaku badilike? Yes. Do you find yourself changing? Je unajikuto kibadilika? No. Why not? Bona. Everyone, we want to change. Tunataka tu badilike. But we don't find ourselves really changing. Lakini atujipati tu kibadilika. Is that right? Je nikweli? But, Lakini, in the same way, he also wanted to change. Vivio, hivio, alitaka badilike. But, Lakini, Julio, he, find, he found himself not changing. Julio, alijikuta habadiliki. One day, Siku moja, there was a time when he had already gone to rehabilitation center already two times. Ha, kuna wakati ambawa alikuwa meingia katika chumba cha kuhifadhi wa, wa levi she wanted marambili. to change. Alitaka badilike. But he found himself still the same. Lakini alijikuta kiwa bado yule ni yule yule. Also, this one certain day, na hata pia siku moja ya jumapili, he did a drug. Akafanya kutumia madawa. And then he was lying and sleeping on the bench. Akawa analala, amelewa na analala. At the park. Katika uh, park. You know, while he was lying, you know, he heard the people laughing and enjoying so much. Watu anacheka, huku and zaidi. so when he opened his eyes, Kwa hivu, macho yake, he found this one family happily and joyfully walking about the park. Aka moja, ile park. He envied them so much. Zaidi. Right now, Sasa hivi, I am past, I am close to 40 years old. But me until now, Lakini, mimi hadi sasa, I couldn't get married. Si kuowa. Would I be able to get married? Jen, kuowa. Look at them. Watazami. That family seems so happy. The mother wana, wana kuwa watu wa ma, the mother wana, and wana the Mama na baba, the children watoto, holding hands together mkono, running around the park together sharing the food pamoja, together vya kula pamoja, when would I able to also live that kind of a life? I also want to change nami pia I also want to receive change in my life nataka no matter how much I would try I wouldn't change, I can't change when would I be able to change? with drugs Nita and enjoy and have a happy life like them. When would I be able to have a nice house? When would I be able to have a nice car? When would I be able to have a nice job? You know, he was falling into the kind of a thought in his heart. While he was looking upon them and thinking about them and imagining about that he started to feel very hungry 
because while he was doing drugs for about two days, he couldn't eat any food. So he was so hungry. But by chance, he smelled something so delicious. What is this smell? So when he followed the smell, he found the trash can. And when he opened the trash can, he found a hamburger inside. A leftover hamburger. About one third is already eaten, and the remaining was just you know thrown in the trash can. Also, he found the fries, the chips inside. So he was so happy. Oh, I'm so hungry. But there is a hamburger. So he began to shovel in the hamburger in his mouth. When he was about to finish the hamburger, now he's a little bit full. At that time, he began to smell something. What is this stench? Why, where is this dirty smell coming from? And he realized that this hamburger was already spoiled. Because he was so hungry, he couldn't smell this hamburger being spoiled. And then later, when he was a little bit full, he was able to smell this hamburger being spoiled a little bit. So he threw that hamburger back into the trash can. And then later on, he was doing the drugs again. And then he was called. And he was sent to and the prison rehabilitation center. Now the third time as he went to the prison. Now he was thinking. If I continue to live like this. One day. I could also die. As he went to the prison rehabilitation center the third time, she was, she was able to find himself who is going to die because of the rehabilitation center. Because of the drugs. If I do this, if I continue, uh, maybe I am going to die. Now when he thought about that, now at the rehabilitation center, there is the lecturers who teach them how they can come they can be free from drug addictions. She was listening to the lecturer. And then on the first session, the lecturer, she said, everyone, you are here in this rehabilitation center because you were caught to doing the drug. Everyone, if you want to receive change, then you need to listen to whatever I tell you. If you listen to me, you can receive change. Everyone, please repeat after me. If you listen to me, those who listen to me, you will repeat after me. And those who don't listen to me, you will not repeat after me. Please repeat after me. Those, if you listen to me, you can receive change. The lecturer, he came, and then he told them, hey, if you want to receive change, you have to listen to me. If you only listen to me, you can receive change. So the third time she went to the rehabilitation center, you know, she was listening, she was listening to the lecturer very carefully. Why? Because for the first time, he found himself 
who is going to die because of drugs. He really wants to receive change, but he found himself not changing. He found himself ruining his life. He wanted to have a happy family, but he couldn't have a happy family. He wanted to buy a nice house, nice car, but he found himself not being able to do that. He found himself now taking the spoiled uh, the hamburger and chips. Though he wanted to change, he couldn't change and his life was miserable. She even went up to the point where she even imagined that I could even die because of this drug. When he accurately discovered his image, though he went to the prison three times, Times, for the first time and now she began to listen to the lecturer. Let me listen what he has to say. Uh, if I want to receive change, he's telling me to listen to him. So for the first time, while she went there three times, she had the heart of wanting to go there and, and listen to the lecturer. Let me listen to what he has to say. He went and began to listen to him. While he was listening to the lecture, he turned around and then he found other people chatting each other and some of them falling asleep and not listening to the lecturers at all. Everyone, why can't they not listen? Everyone, they cannot listen because they cannot discover themselves how they are are the people who cannot change unless they listen to what the lecturer has to say. Everyone for Julio, Julio, he was able to discover himself. Uh, if I continue with this, then now I could also die because of these drugs. After he discovered that, now she began to listen to the lecturer. Now as he was listening to the lecturer, he began to receive change. And after he got discharged, he came to one of the Bible conferences that we were doing. And he had the fellowship together with uh, Pastor Paul. Park and received salvation. Everyone, those who realize that, who, real, who is able to realize my true image, they are able to listen. They are able to listen. For those people who don't know my image, they cannot listen. Those people who listen, for Julio, Julio, he realized that, ah, oh, because of this drug, I can die. He realizes himself as a person who cannot help but die because of this drug. And that's why he was able to listen. Two other times that he went, two other times when he went, to he went to the prison rehabilitation center. He couldn't listen. Because he could not find himself dying because of drugs. That's why he was like one of them just chatting with other students. Just talking to other students. Just joking around and playing around. So he did not listen to the lecturer. But on the third time, when he found his true image as a person who cannot help but die because of a drug, 
kulevia. he was able to listen. Aliweza kusikiza. And she was able to receive change. Na kisha akaweza kupokea mabadiliko. And later on, he even connected to our Bible conference and received salvation. Na baadaye hata kuhudhuria kongamano la Biblia na hata pia kupata mkopo. Who is able to listen and receive change? Basi nani ambaye anaweza kusikiza na kupokea mabadiliko? Those who accurately discovered my true image. Wale watu wanaotambua sura zao halisi. Even those of people who did not discover my image. Wale watu ambao hawajatambua sura zao. What are they doing to change themselves? Basi ni kitu gani ambao wanafanya kujibadilisha wenyewe? They are just working hard trying to change themselves. Wanajaribu wawezavyo kujibadilisha wenyewe. We did it like that. Ha tulifanya hivyo. We used to do it like that, Tulikuwa right? Tulikuwa tunafanya hivyo sivyo. But did they really change yourselves? Na je, hiyo iliweza kukubadilisha wewe? Did it really change your image? Je, ilibadilisha sura, sura yako? Even though we try hard. Japokuwa tunajaribu tuwezavyo. Even our effort and diligence is not what genuinely change our image. Bidi zetu na juhudi zetu si kitu ambaye inabadilisha sura zetu. Even when you listen. Na unaposikiza. Even you are able to see yourself changing. Una uwezo wa kujiona ukibadilika. You are able to receive the guidance. Una uwezo wa kupokea muongozo. Everyone kila moja wenu. Unapotazama Biblia. The Bible explains about so many people like that. Biblia inaeleza kuhusu watu wengi kama hao. Yes, so who are able to listen to the voice of Jesus. Wale watu ambao waliweza kusikiza sauti ya Yesu. Even they were able to all change. Wote waliweza kubadilika. The man who had infirmity for 38 years. Au mtu ambaye alikuwa amepoza miaka 38. And he was able to receive change. Aliweza kupokea mabadiliko. When did he receive change? Ni wakati gani alipokea mabadiliko? When he listen to the voice of God, voice of Jesus, he was able to change. Wakati posikiza sauti ya Mungu sauti ya Yesu aliweza kubadilika na katika Biblia katika Yohana mlango wa 8 kuna mwanamke aliyefumaniwa katika uzinzi alitaka kubadilika lakini hangaweza kujibadilisha hata hivyo aliposikiza sauti ya Yesu aliweza kubadilika hata pia kuna mwanamke aliyekuwa akivuja damu miaka miaka 12 mwanzo alitaka kujibadilika in the book of Mark chapter 5 starting from verse 25 right Ah Marko mlango wa 5 kuanzia mstari wa 25 hivyo Everyone should try to change herself in verse 25 Alijaribu awezavyo kujibadilisha mwenyewe kuanzia mstari wa 25 Up to verse 26 she tried to change herself by meeting many physicians Hata mstari wa 26 alijaribu abadilike kupitia kwa matabibu wengi Everybody she didn't change Lakini hakubadilika However Hata hivyo when she discovered her true image Alipotambua sura zake mwenyewe uh, no haijalishi nitajaribu kiasi gani i cannot change myself siwezi nikajibadilisha mwenyewe yes, she discover her true image ndio alitambua sura zake that there is nothing that she can do to change herself ya kwamba kuna chochote anaweza kufanya ili ajibadili mwenyewe However, hata hivyo when she discover her true image that i am not the one who can change myself alipotambua sura zake kwa yeye si mtu ambaye anaweza kujibadilisha mwenyewe she discover that i cannot change myself alipotambua kwa hawezi akajibadilisha Kuhonde wakati aliweza kusikiza sauti ya Yesu. It says when she heard about Jesus. Biblia inasema kwa aliposikiza kumhusu Yesu. Even starting from that time. Kuanzia wakati huo. She began to change. Akaanza kubadilika. Not only that. So hivyo tu peke yake. There was also the prodigal son. Hata pia mwana mpotevu. She didn't know he didn't know about himself. Hakujua kuhusu ye mwenyewe. If he goes a far country away from the father. Ya kwamba kienda katika inchi ya mbali mbali na baba ya kwamba anaweza kafanya vizuri kwa hivyo akatoka kwa baba lakini alijikuta akishindwa tena katika nyumba ya ngurue aliweza kujitambua mwenyewe kulingana na historia People say that you no know, Columbus discovered the new land the America. Watu wanasema kwa Columbus aliweza kutambua nchi mpya ya America. You know Thomas Edison na huyu Thomas Edison you know he discovered this light bulbs. Aliweza kubuni also uh, telephone. Na hata pia simu. So many other things. Na vitu vingine vingi. The Wright brothers. Na hao hao wa, ndugu wa wili Wright brothers. They also discovered the theory how you can also 
fly in the air. Wao pia waliweza kutambua mbinu ya kuweza kupaa angani. There are many discoveries in this world. Pia uvumbuzi viko vingi. But one of the greatest discoveries in this world. Lakini uvumbuzi lio kuu hapa duniani is to discover my true image. Ni kuweza kutambua sura yako mwenyewe. From that time on. Kwanza wakati huo. From having that discovery. Kwanza wakati ule unapofanya uvumbuzi kama hayo. I'm telling you. Nakwambia the great wisdom and the power that you never could have had experience to start coming out of you. The great change happens. Even this Sunday morning service, there are a few people who are falling asleep like the old image of Julio. They don't care about the word. You know, they don't like to listen to the word. They are sitting here because, you know, you know they are in high school, that's why they are forced to come to service. Wanakaa hapa ni kwa sababu katika shule ya upili wamelazimishwa kwa mali pale. Wao wengine pia wamelazimishwa kwa hapa kwa sababu ya baba na mama. Na wengine wanakaa mali hapa ni kwa sababu ni ibada ya Jumapili. But how many of you really discover your true image and sitting here Really to listen and discover your true image and receive his heart. Lakini wangapi wenu ambao wanakaa mali hapa baada ya kujitambua wanakaa hapa waweze kutambua sura za mioyo yao. Even me when I look at myself. Hata mimi ninapojitazama nafsi yangu. I am a terrible person. Mimi ni mtu kama huyo. You know I didn't do drugs. Ah sikufanya madawa ya kulevya. But I am no different from Julio. Lakini sina tofauti yoyote ile na Julio. I am also a terrible person. Mimi pia ni mtu msumbufu. I am also a dirty person. Mimi pia ni mtu mchafu. I am also a very evil Person. Even but, Lakini, why am I able to stand here this morning to preach the word before all of you? I am not different from all of you. I am not different from all of you. Maybe according to the ethics. Maybe I am even worse than you. Religiously, I may be even worse than you. According to diligence, I may be even worse than you. Everyone, the most important discovery, yes, also being able to fly, using the light bulbs, using the telephone, using the video, Yes, all those things may be a great discovery. Kutumia ta, kutumia kupa, na hata pia kutumia video. Ndiyo hizo ni ubumbuzi za maana. However, there is no any other great discovery than individuals discovering your true image. Lakini hakuna ubumbuzi lio kuu kama mtu kibinafsi utambue sura yako mwenyewe. Woman who had the issues of love for 12 years. Na hakuna huu mwanamke aliyekuwa na shida ya damu kwa miaka 12. Woman who had the infirmity for third uh, The one who had infirmity for 38 years. The prodigal son. Na woman ampotevu. The woman who was caught in the act of adultery. You know, they're all useless people. How what in what about how are they? Evil people. How what about dirty people? What about chaff? However, when they discovered their true image, hata ivo na puji tambua surazao. They were able to listen to the word of Jesus. Waliweza kuskiza neno la Yesu. When the word of Jesus came, na neno la Yesu lipo kujia. They were no longer the same people. Hawakubaki jinsi walivyokuwa. They are the people who was living by the wisdom that Jesus gave them. Wao ni watu walioishi kwa hekima ambayo Yesu aliwapa. Everyone, what is the greatest discovery? Basi uvumbuzi lio kuu zaidi ni gani? One of the great discovery is truly to discover my true image. Uvumbuzi lio kuu zaidi ni kuweza kujitambua sura yako mwenyewe. When you discovered his true image. Wakati ule alipojitambua sura yake mwenyewe. Now she began to have the year to hear. Akaanza kuwa na masikio ya kusikiza. Everyone, when you look in the Bible today I read Genesis chapter 7 Unapotazama Biblia leo nimesoma mwanzo mlango wa 7 Genesis chapter 7 Mwanzo mlango wa 7 Now it is talking about how God he judged this world Naongea kuhusu jinsi ambavyo Mungu alivyohukumu ulimwengu So when you look here Kwa hivyo unapotazama hapa One thing that we know is that not all was able to enter inside of the ark Kitu kimoja tunachotambua kuwa ni si wote waliweza kuingia katika safina You know in the bible the ark represents Jesus Na katika Biblia safina inaashiria Yesu Because when there was that judgment of God Kwa sababu tulipokuwa na hukumu ya Mungu Yes whosoever entered inside of the ark they were their lives were saved Na mtu awaye yote aliyeingia katika safina maisha yake iliokolewa Yes Jesus also came to this earth Na Yesu pia to save us from our sin. To save us from the judgment of God, which is going to be the hellfire. So the ark in Genesis chapter seven it resembles Jesus 
who came as a savior. Na kwa hivyo Safina katika mwanzo mlango wa 7 inaashiria Yesu aliyekuja kama mwokozi. Na pia kulikuwa na Safina which was which came and which is there to save us as a savior from this judgment of God. Na pia kuna Safina iliyokuja ituokoe kutoka na hukumu huu wa Mungu. Many people think. Watu wengi wanafikiria. I guess the good people enter into the ark. Ah nafika kwa ni watu wazuri walioingia katika Safina. Only good people can enter into Jesus. Ni watu tu wazuri peke yao wanaweza ingia ndani ya Yesu. But when you look in the Bible. Lakini unapotazama Biblia. Genesis chapter 7 verse 2. Ah mwanzo mlango wa 7 mstari wa 2. It's not the good people who enters into the ark. Sio watu wazuri tu walioingia katika Safina. Yes, so those who discovered that their image and receive the word of Jesus can enter into the ark. Watu waliotambua sura zao na kumwamini Yesu aliweza kuingia katika safina. The one who listens to the voice of God enters into the ark. Yule mtu aliyesikiza sauti ya Mungu akaingia katika safina. He says so you shall take with you seven each of every clean animal a male and a, uh, with and his female two each of animals that are unclean a male and his female. Uh, katika wanyama wote walio uh, safi ujitwalie saba saba mume na mke na katika wanyama wasio wasafi wawili wawili mume na mke what did the bible say biblia imesemaje it is not only the clean animals that enter into the ark sio wanyama wasafi tu peke yao walioingia katika safina Everyone, not only the good people who enters inside of Jesus. Sio watu wema tu peke yao waliingia katika Yesu. Everyone who are the ones that they were able to be saved from the judgment of God. Ni watu gani waliokolewa kutoka na hukumu ya Mungu? Not the good people. Sio watu wema. Not the diligent people. Sio watu wadilifu. Not those people who pray God. Si watu wale wanaoomba Mungu. Everyone who are the ones that had who are able to be saved from the judgment of God. Whether you are good people, whether you are the bad people, whoever, whoever it is, everyone, it doesn't matter whether you are good or bad, whoever you are, those who enter inside the ark was able to be saved from the judgment of God. Everyone, then, who is the one that is able to enter inside of the ark Those who were able to listen to the voice of God Those who listen to the voice of God They can enter inside of the ark Everyone is that so who can enter into the ark? Whether you understand the voice of God or not. Whether it makes sense to you or not. Those who are able to listen to the voice of God the way it is can enter into the ark. What did I say? Who can listen? The one who discovered my true image. Those who discover. Ah, God said. Ah, God said. He is going to judge this world with water. Then I will also be killed. Basi ntauliwa. If I want to gain my life. Ikiwa nataka ni bakishi maisha yangu. I should enter inside the ark. Basi nastaili kuingia katika safina. But then most of the people. Lakini watu wengi. They don't realize their true image. Hawatambui sura zao. You know, I am bad. And mimi ni mbaya. But I've done also many good things. Lakini pia ni mefanya mambu mengine mema. You know, I am only evil continually. Amini mtu muovu tu kwenda. But this one, I am good. You know, I gave a lot of offerings. I served God well. I prayed God well. I do a lot of you know, volunteer work for the church. That is not what is going to save you. What is the one that is going to save you? No matter how much you do a lot of volunteer work in the church, that's not what the one that is going to save your life. Even if you want to be saved, you gotta enter inside of the ark, listening to the voice of God. It's not that you gotta do something diligently. You gotta listen to the voice of God. Everyone. Who can receive the change in their lives? The one who can listen to the voice of God. Everyone, but who can receive the voice of God? Who can listen to the voice of God? Who can listen to the voice of God? Everyone repeat after me. Discovery. 
discovery. Even, even, even though I say, you know, repeat after me. Do I have to even repeat after that? Uh, so do I have to repeat after that? Everyone, the change happens from the small thing. The change doesn't happen from a big thing. The change happens from a small thing. From the small things, being able to throw away my own heart and receiving the heart of the pastor the way it is, and if he says, please repeat after me, you can also listen to that the way together. Everyone repeat after me. Discovery. 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 What do you have to discover? My true image. When you look in this story, not all entered into the ark. Those who entered into the ark, those who discovered their true image, it was only Noah and his family. God is going to judge this world because of our evil sin. He's going to judge us with water. Hey Noah, hey Noah. that's nonsense. And you are building the ark where? Aren't you supposed to build the ship at the sea or at the river or something like that? It's nonsense. How can you build a ship on the top of the mountain? You are crazy. This is nonsense. Everyone, because it's a nonsense to their thoughts. No one was able to receive the word of God the way it is in their hearts. However, Noah, he was able to discover his true image. Everyone, you all know very well Genesis chapter 6, verse 5. He realized how evil he was. That's why he was able to listen to the voice of God the way it is. It doesn't make sense to him. But God told him to build the ark, so he built the ark. God told him to bring the animals inside of the ark, and he did it. God told him to enter into the ark, and he entered into the ark. What about those people who could not discover their image? Let us read chapter 7. Verse 21. And all flesh died that moved on the earth, the earth, the birds and the cattle and the beasts and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth and every man. Everyone those who could not enter into the ark. Out of those who did not enter into the ark. There are also maybe the good people too, right? Because only Noah's family entered into the ark. Imagine there were also priests. Isn't it? There were also lawyers. People who were diligent in keeping the law. There must have been also pastors and bishops, elders and deacons and deaconess. Everybody were there. But everyone died in the judgment day. Why? Because they did not enter into the ark. Everyone, it is not that you need to live a diligent life. You need to discover your true image. <coughs> then you are able to listen. When you listen, you are able to enter inside of the ark. You are able to enter inside of Jesus. Even those who, who enter into Jesus. I really loved this word. I want to share this word with you. Chapter 8, verse 1. 
Let us read all together. Are you ready? Chapter 8, verse 1. We will read it together with a loud voice. Every change happens from the small things, right? Ready, go. Amen. 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 Or you don't understand. You read it, but you don't understand why it's good. I really loved this word. Then God remembered. God remembered Noah. God remembered all those who are inside of the ark. Everyone, when you come in Jesus, when you come inside of the ark, everyone in the life where God, he remembers you, and the life where God doesn't remember you. Even the life cannot be the same. Even it is not that you need to try hard to become a successful person. In terms of salvation, you got to accurately know how can I be in the ark. And also in terms of spiritual life. How you need to accurately know how can I live the spiritual life whereby I can be in Jesus. And how can you be in Jesus? How can you be in the ark? Number one is discovery. When you discover your true image, you will listen to the voice of God. And you will be in Jesus. Everyone, if you're in the ark, yes, the storm comes, this time. And all of a sudden, the, the ship shakes like this. But God is the one who is remembering the ship. God remembers the ark. All those who are inside the ark. And keeps the ark. And protects the ark. Leads and guides the ark. Isn't that amazing? Everyone, their life is uncomparable. Everyone, God remembers all those who are inside the ark. Even it does not mean that sometimes there's no uh, storm. Yes, so there are storms and it shakes up the, you know, the ark. But who is remembering those who are in the ark? God remembered then God God remember Noah and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. Yes, there are storms. Yes, there are wind, uh, strong winds. Yes, there are troubles. Yes, there are difficulties. Yes, there are burdens. But those who are in the ark. Those who are in Jesus, those who are in the church, everyone, when the storm comes, yes, the ship might shake up like this, but you are kept and you are protected. God, he wants to remember us. God, he wants to keep us. God, he wants to protect us. Then you all got to be inside the ark. Who are the ones that can come in the ark? Who can come in the ark? The one who discovered my true image. When you discover your image, even from then on, you can listen. When you listen, though it is something that you don't understand, though it is something that is a nonsense, but, but, we can follow that word. 
everyone the greatest discovery. I don't want to say that is a discovery of the land of America. The greatest discovery, I don't want to say that you know, it is the airplane. The greatest discovery, I don't want to say that it is the life of and the telephone. The greatest discovery, it is the discovery of my image. So that the word of God can abide in us. And the work inside of us. Let us close our eyes and come up before God and pray before God. God, truly as he says in the book of Genesis chapter 6 verse 5, I am a person who cannot, nothing good can come out of me. That's why without your grace, without your mercy, there's nothing that I can do. I hope you can receive his grace to also discover your true image. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, truly we are the people who are only evil continually in the eyes of God. But we thought that I am better, I am all right, I am fine. And while I'm thinking that I'm better than other people, I could not help but to build the complaints inside of our hearts. But Lord, this day, through the word, we discover our true image. When we discover our true image, then we are able to listen. When we listen to the word of God, we are able to also receive the change in our heart. Have your grace, your kindness, your mercy upon us to discover our true image so that we can listen to the word of God the way it is to enter into the ark. God, you say you are going to remember all those who are in the ark. Remember each and one of our brothers and sisters who are seated here. Remember them. Give them your wisdom. Give them your heart. Give them your mind. Give them your happiness inside of their hearts. Lord, we thank you. We give all this into your hands. In the name of Jesus, we pray it. Amen.